Boiler Drum Level Control the purpose of the drum level controller is to bring the drum up to level at boiler startup and maintain the level at constant steam load. A dramatic decrease in this level may uncover boiler tubes, allowing them to become overheated and damaged. An increase in this level may interfere with the process of separating moisture from steam within the drum, thus reducing boiler efficiency and carrying moisture into the process or turbine. The three main options available for drum level control are single element drum level control in this type of control mechanism water is fed into the boiler drum through a single or multiple pipes and thus a single or multiple control valves only the water level in the drum is measured through a level transmitter and the information is sent to the controller based on the obtained information if is compared to the set point and then control valves are manipulated in order to increase or decrease the flow rate of the water inside the boiler drum it takes some time to effect changes in this type of mechanism thus it is only used wherever the residence time is very large. Two element drum level control. In this mechanism, one more variable is controlled in the process apart from the level. That variable is the flow rate. The flow rate could be of feed water or the steam, any one of them. They form a cascade control system with the level controller being in the primary loop and the input from it is used to set the second loop which consists of flow rate controller. The accuracy is much better and also faster than single element control. Three element drum level control. In this mechanism, the drum level is controlled, the flow rate of feed water and the steam flow rate is controlled. It forms a cascade plus feed forward system. The output from the level control is input into the feed forward steam flow rate and the measurement of the steam flow rate is used to set the feed water flow rate. This combination is the most accurate among all three. The only drawback is that three element control cannot be used for low boiler load conditions because at such conditions it is very difficult to measure steam flow rate accurately. At high boiler load, this mechanism is most useful. For more details about control loop types, you may review my previous video that explain the working principle of cascade, feedback, feed forward, and ratio control system. As I left the link for you in the description box of this video. If you like this video please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification of new videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.